What's going on guys? Chris from the Blu-ray Critic back for another edition of my Blu-ray Pickups Haul. Got another nice stack of movies, bunch of titles that I'm going to show you guys today. And honestly, I wasn't too thrilled with some of the deals going on this year for Black Friday. They were either movies that I already owned or movies that I wasn't going to watch. So I'm like, ah, you know, why should I spend the money on those? But I went ahead with stuff that, you know, I was truly going to watch or movies that I hadn't seen in such a long time. And I wanted to, you know, upgrade to uh, Blu-ray. But uh, first, let's talk about this new release, which uh, just came out by Olive Films. And this is part of their Olive Signature line. And this is a great classic film with Cary Grant and Tony Curtis in uh, Operation Petticoat. So in this film, Cary Grant plays a lieutenant commander during World War II who is in charge of a funny-looking pink submarine called Sea Tiger, which was badly damaged at a shipyard by a Japanese air raid. So uh, the lieutenant is trying to make sail before an oncoming you know, invasion happens. So he decides to enlist the help of a newly transferred lieutenant, Nick Holden, played by the great Tony Curtis, to use his talents as a con artist to procure the needed supplies, you know, to get the ball rolling and get the hell out of Dodge. And this is Cary Grant and Tony Curtis at their very best, man. And it's just, uh, you know, one of those fun films to kick back and enjoy. And it was actually nominated for several awards, including Best Actor for Cary Grant at the Golden Globes and also uh, Best Original Screenplay at the Academy Awards. What's also interesting is that this was a film that Bob Hope always mentioned in you know, various interviews, that it was his biggest regret turning down. That's how much he loved this film. And you know I don't blame the guy. Cary Grant did a solid job. And, and it was actually the second film Cary played a submarine commander. The first film was Destination Tokyo, I believe back in uh, 1943. So anyway, this Olive Signature Edition is hands down a great release to pick up. And it's loaded with so many features and a solid looking transfer with nice colors and grain structure. And decent looking black levels and the audio is also very clear and crisp. But you are going to get a bit of a, you know, specks of dirt and debris show up on a print. But honestly, it didn't really get in the way of things. Which is why I'm going to rate both the picture and audio a 4.5 out of a 5. And some of those features included with this release is a audio commentary track by critic Adrian Martin. Plus a bunch of behind the scenes featurettes. Including universal newsreel footage of Cary Grant at the opening of the film at the Radio City Music Hall, plus archive footage of the uh, submarine used in the film, plus an essay and also a booklet. And this film is in the aspect ratio 1.85. And that's Operation Petticoat, released by Olive Signature. Alrighty, so let me show you guys the rest of my pickups. Got Despicable Me 3 on 4K, brand new release. And uh, yeah, I haven't seen this film yet, but I'll review it this week and I'll post it on my channel. Also ended up getting The Old Dark House, released in 1932. Great classic with Boris Karloff, Charles Lofton, and also Gloria Stewart. And, uh, yeah, nice-looking woman she was, you know, Gloria Stewart. She's the woman who later on played, uh, you know, very later on in the future, played The Old Rose in uh, Titanic. But uh, shout-out to uh, Reject Films on YouTube. Really nice guy. I actually learned about this release from his channel. He talked about this movie. You know, he did a nice in-depth review about it. But uh, I'm going to put the link down below to his channel. He does unboxings on horror films and new pickups and whatnot. And yeah, lots of great stuff on his channel. And uh, yeah, so that is The Old Dark House released by uh, Cohen Films Collection. My next pickup is the long out of print edition of The Third Man on Blu-ray. Finally able to get this for a decent price and add it to my collection. And yeah, just so thrilled about this one. And the folks over in the UK actually... Uh, Restored this film not that long ago, I believe about a year or a year and a half ago. But uh, yeah, this is the one I wanted, especially for the supplements and the transfer. It can't be beat either. So yeah, there it is, a third man. The next criterion I picked up is Federico Fellini's Eight and a Half, which I've seen many times over, but surprisingly I didn't have in my uh, Criterion collection. And you know, with the fifty percent off sale going on at uh, Barnes and Noble, I was like, you know, I think it's time for me to add this to my collection. Can't be beat for uh, twenty bucks. And now on to my Black Friday pickup. So I got the 4K edition of Bram Stoker's Dracula celebrating its 25th anniversary released in 1992 and directed by the one and only Francis Ford Coppola. And uh, yeah, I haven't seen this yet on 4K, but I heard the transfer looks really, really good. So uh, looking forward to that and it has a bunch of supplements too. So yeah, Gary Oldman really knocked it out of the park, but also, you know, of course, uh, went on the writers in the film and Keanu Reeves, such a great cast and such a solid film. The next horror film I got is The Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death. And yeah, I'd never seen this one, and I heard it basically got trashed by everybody. But I'm going to complete it since I already owned the original one. And yeah, unfortunately, Daniel Radcliffe isn't in this. And a lot of people trash this because there's nothing original as far as horror goes. It's just jump scares. But I'll give it a try and, you know, see what I think of it. The next movie I got is one of my favorite slapstick comedy films from the 90s, and that is Don't Be a Menace to South Central While Drinking Your Juice in a Hood, starring Sean and Marlon Wayans. And if you haven't seen this one, this is a spoof movie 
on, you know, Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society, and Friday. Just absolutely hilarious. And I love that scene at the liquor store when uh, Marlon Wayans is all like, What you said about my mama? And then the Asian lady keeps following them, you know, keeps an eye on them and whatnot. And she's all like, Hurry up and bye. Really funny, man. You do have to check this one out if you haven't seen it. And if you've seen it already, you know what I'm talking about. And it's rated R, so, you know, it's no holds bar comedy all the way. All right, so with Christmas around the corner, I figured I'd add a few holiday titles to my collection. Got the newly released edition of Home for the Holidays, released by Shout Factory. This is their uh, Shout Select line. And uh, yes, it's just a fun movie to watch with the family. It's directed by uh, Jodie Foster, and it stars you know, Holly Hunter, Robert Downey Jr., and the late great Anne Bancroft. So yeah, that's the artwork on the disc, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so you don't get too much as far as supplements, but you do get a great commentary track by uh, Jody Foster, which is definitely worth to listen to. My next pickup is one of the great all-time classic holiday films, and that is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, starring Chevy Chase. And uh, yeah, this is just one of those films I've seen so many times, so obviously I wasn't in a you know rush to pick up the Blu-ray. So I came across it for a really low price, and this is the uh, newly restored edition, so yeah, since it's all red. Because they have one with uh, Chevy Chase's face on it. So if you have that disc, that's the old transfer. You want to get this one. So, and it's a really nice looking transfer too. And the third holiday film I picked up is Will Ferrell and Elf. And yeah, I really like this one a lot. And it's just one of those movies that became an instant classic too. So yeah, perfect time to watch it. You know, with Christmas around the corner. And to close out my Black Friday pickups, got Entrapment starring a great Sean Connery and the beautiful Catherine Zeta-Jones. And I believe this is the second to last action film that Sean Connery made. And also uh, Crimson Tide starring Denzel and Gene Hackman, directed by the late great Tony Scott. Also L.A. Confidential, and I believe they uh, re-released this one with a different uh, transfer, so I'll pick that up eventually. But uh, I got this for 4 bucks, so can't complain on that. Also got uh, Pretty Woman starring Richard Gere and Julia Roberts, and a film I haven't seen since I was a teenager, so uh, I'll check it out at some point again. Also got the film noir, The Lady from Shanghai, starring uh, Rita Hayworth and Orson Welles. And the last film I got is Night and Day, starring Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz. And uh, yeah, this was a decent action film. I liked it, you know. And it kind of sucks to, uh, that, uh, you know, Cameron Diaz isn't making movies all that often anymore. I mean, the last film she made was, I don't know, it's been like at least four or five years. So yeah, you know, I hope she comes back. She's a nice actress you know i always liked her films i mean she's not a great actress but she's not terrible and you know she makes the films fun to watch so anyway that's my uh pickups for black friday you know new releases and catalog titles and whatnot thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys soon